What we do in Hollywood is help people reach a bigger audience. We tell them that the faith-based audience is seven times bigger than the number of people who go to movies. About 20 million people go to movies every week and about 117 to 135 million go to church every week. So that's uh, seven times more go to um, church than movies. If you consider the Hispanic audience, because my wife is Argentine, that's about the same as the number of people who go to movies. African-American audience is not that big. And then... uh, you know, women and men, but they all go to church. So church is the biggest audience. Now, that's not as big as the population of the United States, which is 340 million, but Hmm. 117 million is is a big audience. So, you know, obviously from our corner of the world as a Christian network of radio stations, we do call attention to what are called the faith-based movies, and and obviously that's a very valid niche, and you seem to have a real proliferation of movies that contain a faith message perhaps made by Christian filmmakers. But there's also something that you do, and I wanted you to comment on that. You have the ability to talk to people in the industry about the validity of the faith-based audience. In other words, telling producers here are some things that you can do to keep from from offending this vast audience that you're talking to. Or I guess I should say, maybe to put a more positive spin on it, so this, these are ways you can better relate to this particular audience. Well, that all comes out of my background. My father was a star. He won the box office award in 1936. His uh, movie name was given by Jack Warner, the head of Warner Brothers. It was uh, Tex Allen, Bob Tex Allen. Uh, He was a big name in uh, about 80 movies. Famous Fleeting. I just taught at a university last fall, and the kids didn't know John Wayne, who came way after my father. So fame is very fleeting, and I tell that to my classes when I was head of the Department of Berkeley, etc., but then I grew up, uh, my, movie, my mother was a star. My mother died when I was young. And I grew up uh, pursuing love in all the wrong places and being just totally off the tracks and self-destructive and doing a lot of drugs. And after financing five feature films, a woman uh, uh, kept giving me the Bible and said, read it and why don't you tell me what's wrong with it? And I came to Christ and I was, went to a seminary in New York, which I call a cemetery. And they had the rights to the uh, Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, the Chronicles of Narnia. So I became head of that organization. We did the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe on TV. We had 37 million viewers and an Emmy Award. And I said, we want to change the whole industry. One program is not enough. One movie is not enough. At the time when we started Movie Guide, there was only one movie with positive Christian content. And people told me, especially my friends like Don Wildman and everywhere, and uh, said, it can't be done. We can't change it. And now 64% of the movies this year had positive Christian content. Even Mm. Captain America went to church. So our goal is to help Hollywood just understand the church market so they put more faith and values in their movies. And the more Christian content you do, the better it does. Of the top 10 films last year, 80% had positive Christian content. And only one had negative content, and it was bounced out of its first play, its play status when Sing came along. So we tell them how to make more money, how to succeed. I see a lot of friends of mine here who are walking around who came to Christ through the gala. A lot of them come to Christ, and we work with them. We show them how to do scripts and how to do production and how to reach markets, and we encourage people to make more faith-based films. I'd love to see the church make more films that reach a broader audience. I'm friends with the guys who started Pure Flix when they were just little little kids, <laughs> and uh, we tried to help them along, and they're doing great. Some people do great because they listen, they pay attention, they look at the numbers. It's a business. It's not just, you know, uh, it's just it's an art. You know, not Vincent van Gogh standing there not selling any paintings to anybody except their brother. They're actually trying to sell tickets, and the, the tickets have to be sold over... 40 million people to make a difference in Hollywood. So we're trying to help people sell more tickets. We're trying to help people succeed. And we wish that everybody would learn those principles. I teach people how to succeed in Hollywood without losing your soul. We do movie guide to help parents. The most powerful person in Hollywood is the 12 to 24 year old who goes to movies. Bob, you may not be going to many movies. (laughs) You're not 12 to 24. I'm trying to think of the last movie I went to. (laughs) But we reach a lot of 12 to 20. In fact, our biggest audience were we reach about 34 million, but our biggest audience for our Facebook and, and YouTube reaches millions. Our biggest audience on YouTube is teenagers. 